Oh, thank you. Thank you so, so very much. Uh, Chow and I are just delighted and honored to be able to perform and uh, collaborate with TEDx Tysons. Uh, there's many, many different ways to communicate, right? And uh, certainly you all have heard some amazing speakers tonight talking on the subject of legacy. Chow and I communicate entirely through the use of improvised music. Uh, we don't plan, we don't put a set list together. Uh, we do rehearse, but we rehearse musical concepts that we then uh, use as vocabulary. And the vocabulary is what you all experience tonight in the form of a conversation. Uh, we tap into the legacies of ancient Chinese music and American jazz. My kit is a combination of instruments from Africa, Cuba, India, Brazil, Turkey, and Peru. And Chow's gonna speak a little bit later on, uh, on her instrument. And we really try and tap as much as we can into the entire history and legacy of sound as a means of communication. And to that end, we'd like to now take you on a trip to the Middle East. Good evening, my name is Chao Tian. As a musician, I'm delighted to be a part of TEDx Tessens tonight. So the instrument I played is a Chinese Yang Qin. It is the youngest member of Chinese traditional instrument family. 
which is a Chinese version hammer dulcimer adopted from Middle East more than 400 years ago. So compared with Yangqin's predecessor, it has gotten heavier with an extended range, and now it has 144 strings with four octaves, and its hammers are made of flexible bamboo. So um, in the long course of history, Yangqin has experienced the changes in time and region of musical culture, and it also served as a, a witness of the inheritance of cultural legacy. So in the next piece, I'm going to invite Tom to play gongs and cymbals with me, so we'll create a very special dialogue uh, with this combination. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. We have had such a great time. Uh, we're gonna close out our portion with a little bit of uh, Chinese American world funk. Hope you enjoy it.